Can I have everyone say oh? Oh! 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 For a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage. Ta-da! Princes to act. Ow! And monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Gently to hear. Kindly to judge. Our play! <laughs> struck nine when I did send the nurse. In half an hour, she promised to return. Perchance she cannot meet him. No, that is not so. Oh, she is lame. Love's herald should be thoughts which ten times faster glide than the sun's beams, driving back shadows over lowering hills. My words would brand her to my sweet love and his to me. But old folks may feign as they were dead, unwisely slow, heavy, and pale as lead. Our revels now are ended. These are actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted now into thin air. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. What is honor? A word. What is in that word honor? What is that honor? Air, trim reckoning, who hath it? He that died a Wednesday. Doth he hear it? No. Doth he feel it? No. Tis insensible then, yea, to the dead. But shall it not live with the living? No. Why? Detraction will not suffer it. Therefore, I'll none of it. Honor is a mere scutcheon, and so ends my catechism. Oh, you are men of stones. Had I your tongues and eyes, I'd use them so the heaven's fault should crack! He's gone forever. I know when one is dead and when one lives, Lend me a looking glass that her breath may mist or stain stone, and if so, she lives. This feather, it stirs. She lives. Go. Get thee to thy love as was decreed. I send her chamber hence and comfort her. But look thou stay not till the watch be set. For then thou canst not pass to Mantua, where thou shalt live, till we can find the time to blaze your marriage, reconcile your friends, beg pardon of the prince, and call thee back with twenty hundred thousand times more joy than thou wentst forth in lamentation. It is not alone my inky cloak, good mother and nor customary suits of solemn black, nor windy suspiration of forced breath. No, nor the fruitful river in the eye, nor the dejected behavior of the visage, together with all forms, moods, shapes of grief that can denote me truly. But I have that within which passeth show, these but the trapping and the suits of woe. Vain pomp and glory of this world, I hate you. I feel my heart new opened. Oh, how wretched is that poor man that hangs on princes' favors. There is betwixt that smile we would aspire to, that sweet aspect of princes and their ruin, more pangs and fears than wars or women have. And when he falls, he falls like Lucifer, never to hope again. <laughs>